I've got kids, and that means it's always about them. But I need support too. That's where Ollie comes in with their delightful, hardworking gummies. My partner and I can actually get a good night's sleep, so we'll both stand a chance of managing our stress responses. Even when the kids are doing parkour in the living room, discover Ollie vitamins and supplements. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Welcome, everyone. Laszlo Montgomery here with another Chinese Sayings podcast. This one won't take long. For the Season 5 opener, I reserved another good one. Again, a quickie, but one to store in your utility belt as you make your way through life. This one in particular has a nice, interesting story attached to it. Actually, I thought I did this one already, but when I double-checked the back catalog, I realized it only got a quick mention in a past China History Podcast episode. So now I'm giving this great Cheng Yu its due and introducing it to you in this CSP episode. Hao Hao Xian Sheng. Let's not waste any time and just break it down. Hao means good or okay or yes. So Hao Hao means good, good or yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're talking to people, you know, and you say, yeah, yeah, mm hmm, yeah, uh huh. Well, the Chinese equivalent to that is ha 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 ha. So ha ha is akin to yeah 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 yeah. Mm hmm. Good good. And a xian sheng just means Mister. So ha ha xian sheng means Mister Good Good. You might be able to guess what this means, but this is another one that could mean anything. So there's a story attached to this one, and it goes way way back to the Eastern or later Han Dynasty. 25 to 220 A.D., a certifiably long time ago. And the star of this one is a gentleman named Sima Hui. This story comes to us courtesy of the Gu Jin Tan Gai, a book of essays written by the late Ming Dynasty literary figure Feng Meng Long. It's not a particularly famous work, nor was it the most noted book written by Feng Meng Long, but it did contain this story about Sima Hui that yielded this useful Chinese idiom. Now, this isn't necessarily true, but in popular Chinese history, Sima Hui is credited, along with Pang Tong, of being the one who introduced Zhuge Liang to Liu Bei. This is all part of Romance of the Three Kingdoms lore. A lot of what was written in Luo Guanzhong's novel was fiction, including this story. But Aside from Sima Hui's reputation as a hermit and a spotter of talented men, he's not a particularly consequential figure in the history or in the times he lived in. Now, besides having introduced Zhuge Liang to the king of Shu, Liu Bei, one other thing about Sima Hui that he's remembered for is that, well, he was one of those types who never liked to give anyone any bad news or create waves or anything, or take sides, or possibly upset anyone by saying anything one way or another about essentially anything. He would go to great lengths to avoid being drawn into any argument or debate, and would even go so far as to pretend he didn't understand what was being discussed or asked of him, just to avoid possibly upsetting anyone with his answer. Whatever anyone asked him, his reply would always be, ha ha. If someone asked him, hey, how you doing? They'd get a ha ha. What'd you think of the latest news? Ha ha. Hey, what do you think of this weather? Ha ha. And when someone would mention something terrible, like, you know, there was this death in the family, or someone's terribly sick, and he isn't expected to make it, he'd still retort with ha ha. Well, one day... Sima Hui's wife started berating him because a good friend had just visited their residence and had mentioned that his son had passed away. And Sima Hui replied with the usual, ha ha. So his wife just yelled at him saying, you know, this poor guy just visited us, no doubt seeking comfort or wise words from you. And all you could say is good, good. What's up with that? And she went on, no matter what anyone says to you, all you ever have to say is good, good. To which Sima Hui replied, ha ha. So anyone like this, who lives their life not to offend anyone and not express their opinions or say anything that might go against whatever the prevailing opinion was that's being discussed, is a ha ha xian sheng. 
whatever they're discussing at the moment. It's always a matter of, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, good. You know, I've known a few in my lifetime, and the last thing a good and decent Hao Hao Xian Sheng wants to see is someone's raised eyebrow. So this respected but quirky late second century figure, Sima Hui, we remember him for not only his association with Zhuge Liang and Liu Bei, but also as the guy who never wanted to hurt anyone's feelings. So he walked right down the middle of the road, and he was neither left nor right. But he was always good. Hao Hao Xiansheng, Mr. Good Good. Perhaps you've known one or two in your life. Perhaps you're one yourself. Doesn't have to be a mister, you know. There's plenty of Hao Hao Nishis out there, I'm sure. If you know any of these kind souls out there that I'm talking about, now you have a nice Chinese idiom to ascribe to them. And so, that is going to be that for this time. A nice short one for you. I know, time is money and your podcast queue is stuffed with episodes, so I shan't draw this out any longer than it need be. As always, let me give a shout out to indispensable Emma, burning the midnight oil over in Edinburgh, going to school and managing the whole operation at the teacup media, Cheng Yu Yen Zhou Zhongxin. Don't forget, besides this fine educational program, there's also the Tea History Podcast and the internationally award-winning program, the China History Podcast, both of which I cordially invite you to go check out if you haven't already. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at teacup underscore media. This is Laszlo Montgomery signing off from sunny and beautiful Los Angeles, California. Please consider coming back next time for yet another interesting and useful Chengyu here at the Chinese Sayings Podcast.